Hey Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 2.1, number 57. And this was asking us to find the distance between the two midpoints that we had found in the previous problem. So let me just write down that the points we were given in the previous problem were point A at 1 comma 3, point B at negative 3 comma 5, and then we had C over here at 4, 7, and D at 5, negative 4. So the first thing I did was I found the midpoints between A and B, that's what this work is, and then I found the midpoints, or midpoint, excuse me, between C and D, and that's that work over there. Keeping in mind that your midpoint formula is when you average your x-coordinates, and when I say average, you add them up and divide by 2, and then you average your y-coordinates. So add those y-coordinates up and divide by 2. So here you see me averaging my x and y-coordinates, right? We've got 1 and negative 3, right? And then I've got over on this side 4 and 5, right? So those were my x-coordinates, right? Let me change pen colors. We'll go to red, right? 3 and 5 for my y's, right? 7 and negative 4 for my y's. So I'm averaging them, and ultimately I get these two points. This is the midpoint for se segment AB. This is the midpoint for segment CD. So it's asking us to find the distance between these two points, right? Find distance between these two points. And the distance formula that we have is that D is equal to the square root of the difference in the x-coordinates added to the difference in the y-coordinates. So what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and let me change colors here. I want to take the difference in the x-coordinates, which is 4.5 and negative 1. That's why you see me subtracting them here. I want to also take the difference in the y-coordinates. So we have 4 and 1.5, right? And that's where I'm subtracting them here. All right? And then I wind up squaring or finding those differences squaring that number, right? Adding those together, square rooting it, and lo and behold, there is my distance formula. So that is the distance between the two midpoints of these four points that were in our original problem. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.